Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jay here, coming back to you with another video and welcome to my bedroom. Yes, I know it looks a lot cleaner than what you probably see on Snapchat and Instagram stories. I know I cleaned it. You normally probably see a whole bunch of dogs right there. Uh, well, not a whole bunch, just my two babies. So today, in today's video, we're going to be getting ready with me and using the Fenty Sun Stalker Bronzer. I'm gonna give you my thoughts and opinions. You know, I did purchase this a couple of days ago and I've been wearing it ever since, trying to see and get a real, you know, feel for it. So if you wanna see this video, please go ahead and stay tuned. But before we get into the video, if you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and click that red button boo and join our family. It helps me, you know, make more videos like this and, and lets YouTube know that you like it, hello. <laughs> go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. All right, so let's go ahead and get on into. So one thing I did wanna mention prior to starting this video is to let you know that I am dry skin. So some of the things that I use in combination may not work for you if you're a different skin type, but you can use them a different way depending on your skin and skin type. Hopefully it helps. I already prepped and primed, etc. So I like to go in with the Hydra Touch Oil Primer Touch Dehydration um, from NYX. It was such a long name. I'll leave all the products that I'm gonna mention right now and use in this video will also be linked in the description bar below. So I'm just gonna take that and I'm just gonna literally just kinda press it under the skin, especially in the parts where I feel like I get most dry. Moving on, now we're gonna move on to the face. One thing that I like to do prior to putting on any foundation or anything like that, I love to color correct. In the description bar below. So what I like to do is just go ahead and tap a little bit of that underneath my eye. Don't worry about blending right now, just go ahead and tap. And anywhere I feel like I have like dark spots, you know, that needs a little bit more blending. Okay, perfect. So now moving on, we're gonna move on to the skin. I'm out at the window now. Super gorgeous today, so I kinda wanna do something light, and since I have like a little bit of errands to run and stuff and kinda get through the day, I don't wanna do anything heavy. Now one of my things is that I do like to look like concrete. Mm-hmm. So one of my favorite things is <laughs> I've been using the MAC Strobe Cream in Peach Light. And I just like to take a little bit of that and add a little bit to my finger and go ahead and press that onto my skin in my areas. Another thing that I like to do when I add the Peach Light is I like to add the NYX Total Control Total Drop Foundation onto them. So like one drop is like light coverage, two medium, three full, four concrete. Like you know what I'm saying? Little, a little, 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 little one little drop. And I like to do a little drop per section. So in my brain, it says like I'm gonna be looking like concrete. Going in with the darkest shade, the one that I feel like matches my color most, this is what I use on my brows. I like to go in on the inner corners and kind of just swing that out. And take the Fenty on top of this. Oh, and the color that I'm using for my Fenty is going to be the Mocha Mommy. Mm -hmm. You can kind of already see like the lift, you know what I mean? Like the lift on this side. Like I feel like everything just lifted, like, every, like it makes my face look like, you know, you know? And the little bit of the, the bronze. So now I'm gonna go ahead and complete this side. <laughs> and finish the rest of my makeup because it's pretty much done. And then we'll come back with my thoughts. Okay, so I am back. I am finished. Looking good, looking good. And I have thrown a wig. Okay, if you want to see information about this wig, definitely check out the description bar below. And also check out the previous video, which will be right here up in the eye. Okay, so. My final thoughts on the Fenty Beauty Bronzer. So before I decided to do this video, um, mind you, I've been wearing this bronzer for about only a few days, literally about 
three or four days. And I've been watching reviews and I've been kind of getting a lot of mixed or seeing a lot of mixed reviews on said bronzer. I wanna start off with the packaging is freaking amazing. Like it's super gorgeous. Um, the only thing I don't like is that it smudges really easily. <laughs> I love doing my makeup in this little cute little compact. If I wish and I can't wait till they come out with the powder so I can literally put it in my purse like, you know. The color. This color is Mocha Mommy and it happens to be the last shade in the Sun Stalker Instant Warmer Warm Warmth Bronzer um you know uh color and you know one thing that I you know one thing that I love about Riri and Fenty is that you know they're making girls like me and who look like me and you know who are you know darker than me you know feel included that's one thing that I do love I love that um I don't one thing is I do feel a little I do feel like it's a great bronzer. It looks amazing. I I purchased this with my own money and I'm gonna keep it. I'm not gonna return it. <laughs> One thing I can say is someone who happens to be darker than me, I feel like this wouldn't work for them. Now, that does give you like a nice warm ready hue and I do feel warm, you know, and bronze, you know what I'm saying? And I do feel like I finally have a bronzer. Not necessarily a foundation that I have to use as a bronzer. Does that make sense? I just feel like, you know, this wouldn't be deep enough for someone darker than me. That's the only thing. But who's to say they're not coming out with more? You know, I'm gonna be very optimistic and say, you know, girl, this is the first batch. You know, this is the first launch. And hopefully, you know, she's gonna come out for more. I'm gonna leave everything in the description bar below. And guys, if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and let me know by giving it a big thumbs up in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching again. And until next time, guys, bye.